Hello and welcome to GCSE Spanish. We at, here at Earl Multimer College, we're very happy to be able to offer our new year 10 students the possibility to take Spanish as a GCSE. So let's have a look what that entails. There are three themes that we will study. Theme one is about identity and culture. Theme two, about local, national and international global areas of interest. And theme three, all about work, current and future study. We will sit the exam with AQA and I will be the teacher for this option next year. Theme one is identity and culture. We look at different topics. Me, my family and friends are all about yourself your hobbies and your family. Talk a lot about relationships, especially marriage and different kinds of partnerships. Then topic two is about technology in everyday life, what we use it for, the advantages, the disadvantages of technology. Look at social media and the use of mobile phones, all in Spanish, of course. Topic three is called free time activities and where we look at music, cinema, TV, food, eating out and different kinds of sport. Topic four in theme one is about customs and festivals in Spanish speaking countries. So we, we spend a little bit of time looking at different countries where they speak Spanish and their festivals. Theme two is local, national, international and global areas of interest. What does that mean? Well, topic one is about where we live, our town, our neighborhood and the region where we live. Topic two, we look at lots of social issues. We look at healthy eating, unhealthy lifestyles. We look at charity work, voluntary work. Global Topic three is global issues, where we look at environmental problems, poverty and homelessness. And topic four, travel and tourism, where we look at holidays. Theme three is about current and future study and employment. So first of all, about our current studies, what we study at school, what subjects we like, what we don't like, life at school and college, uh, talk about school uniform, we talk about the rules and regulations at schools, we look at education post-16, so we talk about the future, what we'd like to study, what we're going to study next year, and then the more distant future about university and jobs and career choices. How is GCSE assessed? Well, there are two levels. We've got higher and we've got foundation. Exams will take place at the end of year 11. And each exam is based on the four core skills. So 25% of your final grade will be the listening. 25% will be speaking. 25% reading and then 25% writing. So there's an equal balance between the four skills. There are many cultural opportunities on this course. The course content itself, we're always discussing about different South American cultures, the Spanish culture, the differences, the similarities that we have between them. We're planning and hoping for a Spanish trip. The first one should be at the in the summer of 2024. We've already started a pen pal project where we contact with a school in Spain and we can get to know a little bit about other students in other countries and their habits and their customs and then we have Spanish club where we can build on those cultural events and do a little bit of extra Spanish after school. So why should you pick Spanish? Learning a language isn't just about the language okay you can demonstrate your key skills Key skills such as listening, reading, writing, speaking. It's a requirement for some universities. The fact that you can speak a foreign language shows that you have the ability to learn, to adapt and to work at learning something new. There are many cultural opportunities like the trips and the contact with other schools in other countries and many career opportunities. So if you ever want to work abroad, obviously a foreign language is necessary. And here, well, there are a wide range of jobs 
where languages are essential. Obviously, if you have something more than other candidates, then you have the possibility of earning more money. The vocabulary in the grammar that we do will be familiar from Key Stage 3, but we will build on what you've already done in Year 8 or Year 9. And so you already come into the course having a, a solid foundation. And after all, obviously, learning languages is lots of fun. Learning vocabulary does involve a, some games and enjoying it. It is about having a bit of fun as well. Right, nothing else from me. Um, I am available anytime to discuss this course. You can contact me by email or if you are one of the students in the school, then just pop in and see me. Muchas gracias. Thank you for listening. And hopefully some of you will be taking Spanish next year with me. Thank you and adios.